Well, I said to Sharon, would you like the full Monty? And I said, yes. But that's what I mean by the full Monty. <laughs> then I went. Then she went like that. So this costs two pounds. So we're gonna try and make something which is less money than this, but hopefully a bit more tastier. Hopefully. And let's just have a little look at it, Sharon, see what it's got inside it. The full on tasty meal with baked beans, large sausages. I like to see how you get a large sausage in there, Sharon, in yeah. that little thing. It's also got potato chunks, mushrooms, mini bacon burger, and a mini beef cutlet, whatever that is. Not for me, people. That is all in there. So that's what they give us for two pounds. Uh, I forget where we got this from. Was it Heron Foods or something? Yeah, something like that. That's that, we're gonna cook that up and we're gonna try and produce something under two pounds. So let's have a look at the ingredients of what we've got here. Here are the ingredients for our tinned breakfast comparison meal. One egg at 20 pence, two pork sausages at 49 pence, one slice of streaky bacon at 27 and a half pence, two discs of black pudding at 18 pence, one hash brown at 9 pence, four small mushrooms at 18 pence, one tomato at 8 and a half pence, half a can of baked beans at 13 pence. Total price is one pound and 63 pence. So there you go, folks, all this ingredient. Don't forget, we, are, we had some of this stuff in stock, but we worked out the price we paid for it, uh, and we've actually broke it all down. So everything is correct as of the time of doing this video and from our suppliers. So right, we're gonna do no more. We're gonna get this on. We'll get our induction hob out because we're gonna have to cook this in a saucepan, obviously. And the rest of this stuff, apart from the beans, beans and, and the egg, everything else will be done in the air fryer. So let's get going. Right, so as I say, £1.63 this lot come to. It was well under the £2. And we could have actually put another, probably another sheet of bacon on there, or even another egg or another ash brown. But we're gonna stick with what we've got. And uh, we've decided it's probably gonna be doing these in the frying pan as well. So these will go in the microwave. Well, you've got the frying pan on for the eggs. You might as well That's use right. the space. Well, you're using your common sense, baby. That's it. it. And you bit your tongue, didn't you? Oh, it's, I'm... <laughs> I've just bit it again, it's so sore at the back of my mouth. And don't forget folks, we've now got our new aprons on sale. If you want one of them, we'll leave a link in the description below, or if you just go to eBay and type in Butler's Empire, you'll see all the merchandise yes, there. Be like me, have an apron. There you go. Right, so let's get the frying pan over here, baby. Let's get some oil in as well in the um, cassori. Let's get the meat on. Right, okay, so yeah, we're gonna be doing it in the cassori this one, folks. We've I have preheated it. We well, have preheated it, that's right. And we've taken the crisper yeah. tray out because we're gonna try and utilize the bottom element to help cook this lead. stuff as well. So again, this is uh, just two cheap sausages. They're not the best, obviously, but um, I wouldn't have thought, Sharon, that uh, the best quality would have been in this either, would you? I can't think what sort of quality is in there. Yeah, that is apparently streaky bacon. That we won't can... take long, actually. I'll put that in. Yeah, put that in, in towards yeah. the end. So if you put that on now. Right, so that's it folks, that's all we're doing in there. So that can go in, and we're gonna whack that on air fry, and we're gonna use 200 degrees centigrade, and we're gonna do 12 minutes. It may not take all that, but we're gonna do it anyway. So we'll put that on now. It won't take that long. Yeah. This is uh, our induction top, we use this all the time. And good to hear, everyone who's been uh, sending me the messages saying they've had an air fryer for so many months now, and someone said that they, their electricity bill, Sharon, have gone down 21%. How about Brilliant. that? Brilliant. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. Oh. Right, so while Sharon's doing that, I want to have a look inside this tin. Folks, let me get this open. But I don't think this is going to look very appetising, Sharon. Neither do I. And Does I love it... to see the big sausages. It says it's got big sausages it in it. It doesn't even sound appetising to me, to be honest with you. Right, okay. Right, well, let's get that out. So don't forget, every time you eat, you're also eating with your eyes, Sharon, aren't you? So it's got to look pretty good, isn't it? Here we go. This is the full Monty breakfast. And uh, you've got to be careful, you don't want to break up. Oh, the there's the jumbo sausage. Pull one up, Shell, lift one up. Lift the sausage up, baby. There's a couple of them in there. Well, I, think, I suppose it's bigger than the little They're sausage bigger than the little the ones you normally get, aren't they? But it's very anemic. Oh, look, there's a mushroom. Look, it's a mushroom. There is Found an actual mushroom. mushroom in there. Look, look at that. Look. Found a mushroom. Right, well, we're going to put that on low. Let that tickle on, folks. Right, so we're just going to drop the uh, tomatoes in the frying pan. Again, we could have gone for tin tomatoes here, but this was just one out of a packet, so obviously it's a lot cheaper to do it that way. And same with the mushrooms as well. 
Oh, what's that bit? Is that the, the, the burger bite? The burger bite. Yeah. Oh, yummy, look. yummy. Everything, I'll tell you what, though, Sharon, everything looks the same colour. Whereas with this, you've got, you've got the tomatoes yeah. one colour, you've got the mushrooms, the beans are a totally different colour, the bacon and no doubt the eggs are going to be a different colour again. And I can't believe that everything in that saucepan costs two pounds. And all I can smell is baked beans. That's all I can smell, actually, yeah. Right, we're down to nine minutes, so it's been going for three minutes, folks. Let's have a little look. And as you can see already, that fat in the bottom is hot. When you take the crisper tray out, because of that bottom element there, this thing heats up a hell of a lot quicker, folks, so just be aware of that. And also, I'm going to spin them uh, discs over. There you go. Don't, fo don't do what I do, folks. You use a tool. Let's put that back in. So that's not going to definitely take the 12 minutes, Sharon. Coming together now, that's really bubbling up. We've got this uh, hob on the keep warm function. I've actually turned it down. Yeah, the keep warm function operates at about 80 degrees yeah. centigrade, Sharon. It's because it's starting to stick now. So. And what is this uh, set on? This is on 500. Just 500 watts. This is folks. on the lowest on the. And we like cutting them in quarters because look, all you've got to do is that. Yeah. Look, just flick it on the side and you get all the I've sides just done. done that one. That one needs to be. That was the first one I've done. Oh, was it? You can I can tell by the edging. Of course you can. Silicon tools always make a nice little difference without you scratching your pans. And don't forget, folks, also these pans we bought for, especially for this hob, and there is a link for them in the description as well below. And the hob's in the description yeah, as right, well. Yeah, that's right, baby. Ciao. And mine's in the description below if you want to buy a Martin. <laughs> Get your beans on, baby. <laughs> Little we... tip, people. Here we go. Just cover them so they don't splash all over your microwave. Yeah, we have got microwave covers, shall yeah. we? So we'll just pump them in there for a minute at a time. And then you'll come back to them, won't you? I'll come back to them. Give them a little, little stir. stir. But as I say, I know what I'd rather have at the moment, Sharon. I don't know what this tastes like. We've never had one of these, so it's very hard to say. But you can see all the ingredients here. That's obviously the little burger bites, folks. I haven't seen any bacon in there yet. There's no bacon in there, is there? There is, yeah. There's the little potato wedges. Oh, no, oh bacon burgers. Oh, bacon they're burgers. bacon burgers. Well, there, there must be a difference because you've got bacon. You know they said mushrooms? Yeah. I think they should change it to mushroom. There's only one, is it? I've only seen Well, there's one. not mushroom in there, Sharon, is Well, there? no, it's very good. I it like is. it. Let's really live it up because that is lovely when they're cooking. A bit of pepper on them. Yeah. Right, we're down to six minutes on this now, folks. Let's have a little look in here. Now, as you can see, I think we can put our bacon in now, Sharon. Do you want to just drop that in there? Sizzling away. And now I'm going to wash my hands as well. I'm of course say you are. Yeah. There we go. Before Look at that. people start telling just me off. Just move that about and get some of that oil, that lovely olive oil, on our bacon as well. Look at that. Right. That's really Ooh. working a treat now. There we go. Again, just utilising. This is a lovely little workstation you got here, Sharon. It is, isn't it? I feel like I'm in a little caravan. Caravan? We ain't got a caravan. No, but if you, that's what you'd be like, and everything nice and compact together. Of course it is. I can't see the egg in there, that's all I'm saying. I can't see the egg, Sharon. I don't know. It doesn't even say egg. It does, I read egg, Sharon. Baked beans, large sausage, potato chunks, mushrooms, mini bacon burgers, mini beef cutlet. There's sure no egg. I saw an egg in there. That was the other one, I think. It had egg bites. That was the, the other word. one. I heard the word egg. No. That was the other one we see, Cross and Blackwell. Well, it's not a full Monty then, is it? No. Anyway. But everything cooks so easy on an induction hob. And the thing is... Is that a stir, love? I've done that, baby. Look, right. I could put my hand on it, look. So if you've got little kids, and you know what kids are like, like that shower, look. They're down there, aren't they? Oh, they want to put their hands up there like that. If they do touch that, look. Look. Look at me there, look. It's amazing. That that actually blows my mind, that. And someone's going to say, we haven't put the tissue paper underneath, No, shower. I haven't done it for a while. And I'm going to do fun. it now, shall? Because, look, if I just take that off there, folks, put that underneath it, I've shown this in many other videos, it still cooks through the paper and it doesn't actually burn the paper. Superb. Right, I'll give you one last look at this. There's the super beige breakfast there, Sharon. Yeah, co no colour to them sausages. No, there's no it's all the same colour, Sharon. Yeah. I can't work it's it. It's not out. beige, it's a pale orange, isn't it? And Terracotta. It, and as you've done there, Sharon, you've actually seasoned that. Yeah. The tomatoes up lovely there. The egg is blipping away lovely. And right at the last minute, I'm going to flip that over. I know some people say you can put a lid over the top. 
We haven't got a lid for this frying pan, otherwise that would also give it a, a cover, wouldn't it? Yeah. So let's have a look in here again. Oh, look, I think it's all done, shall. The bacon's crisped up a treat. Look at that. Did you turn anything over in here? Don't need to, it's a jewel. Of course it is, but I like to just, I like to flip it over, shall, because I like to see the other side. Sausages are cooked. Oh. Hash brown's cooked. And the bacon is just about cooked. Right, okay, folks. Can I just say something? Yeah, of course you can, baby. This isn't smelling very nice. Smell isn't. that, smell that. Oh, it don't smell very no. nice, does it? No. Right, well, let me just give that a little little flip over, shall because I'm going to want that out any second. Look at that, folks, look. Just like that. I'll give it about 10 seconds. And as you can see, them beans, I know people said they've done beans in the um, air fryer, but yeah. you can't beat it. I'm not way. so keen. Yeah, so look, look, I'm coming out, I'm coming out, look. Because yeah, it's a dual look. glaze and I don't want my china pot. Oh, well, that's perfect, that is, Sharon. Look at that. Right, we're going to dish this up, folks. We'll come back to you, we'll look at it, and then we'll taste it and see what it tastes I'm like. I'm not looking forward to one of them. See you in a minute. Well, I can't believe it, folks. This looks atrocious. I can't believe that someone sat around the table in a big old corporation, probably dished this up and said, this is what we're gonna sell, and they passed it. Because there's no way you can make that look any better than what it is. And to be honest with you. It stinks. It does smell a bit. But we're gonna do no more, folks. Well, I think we'll try this one first, yeah? Yeah. So you have a little go first. I've got to try these wonderful. Yeah, we'll have a go at the little sausages oh. first, folks. I don't think you can really oh call it a God. sausage. I can't actually, I could say what it smells like. Do you know a frankfurter? No, it reminds me of a dirty old ashtray. Does it really? I don't want to I've move never it. smelled a sausage ashtray. I'm going to have a go. Oh, that's horrendous. There's some horrible aftertaste to that, folks. Don't take my word for it. If you want to try it yourself, this is, this is our opinion. Let's try the burger thing, the bacon burger thing, whatever it is. Go and have a go at that, shall can't smell anything with it. Oh my god. Similar similar flavour. There's no taste. You wouldn't say that was bacon over that sausage, would you? That had a little bit of taste, that's got no taste. Let's taste let's juice. taste these little mushrooms, if you can call it the mushrooms, yeah. No. No, just a taste. No, no flavour again. A little bit of potato there. No flavour again. Awful. That, right. won't, that won't give it to me dogs. Let's have a go at this. Now don't forget folks, these are the cheaper end of the market products here. Yeah, no, The I sausages like were the cheapest we could find. The black pudding was the cheapest we could find. The, uh, what are they called? The hash browns, again, nine pence each. They, they was the cheapest we could find. Let's just get going. I've got to get that taste out of my mouth. Right, you're eating a cheap sausage I here, love a cheap sausage, But it is a sausage. Know. Let's have a go. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. It's a cheap sausage. Exactly. Let's try that bacon, shall we? It's definitely a sausage, let's put it that way. Well, after that thing, right. that makes it like a premium sausage. This is streaky bacon, shall we? I've left you one there, look, come on. I love streaky bacon. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna try a mushroom. That bacon's lovely. That was only £1.49, wouldn't it, Chef, for a cheap, streaky bacon? I forget where you get it from. Tesco's. Tesco's. We could have got the, the uh, 90 pence we were trying cooking to bacon, but we couldn't find it. one with any slices in it. No. Mushroom full of flavour. It's a proper mushroom. Little bonus we've got here, black yeah. pudding. Yeah, that's, we had these in, in, the, um, in the freezer, and as I say, we buy them in bulk in a pack. Nice. Yeah, again, it's got flavour. Not the best black pudding I've ever tasted, but let's try the ash brown. So far, everything's got a flavour, Sharon. Mm. 
different textures as well. Uh, yeah, exactly. That was just slime. Yeah, it's definitely a hash brown. Well, there'll be comments down below. We're coming round your house and bringing one pound sixty-three for breakfast. What? That is truly one pound sixty-three, mm. folks. As I say, I know if you buy all the components in one go, it's going to cost you a lot more. But if you've got them in the freezer, you only have to use what you use at the time. That's the beauty of having them in the freezer. You can produce a cheap breakfast like that compared to that. No much. way, no way. Unbelievable. Well, that was an interesting little test, Sharon. And mm. I can see you ain't stopped with eating because I think you're going to well, be eating most of that. I'll tell you why I'm continuing eating, people, because I'm doing a good thing now. I'm going off to give blood and you've got to have a full stomach. Of course well, you have. Food in you and drink in There's you. There's a reason for it then. But we're not even going to eat that. That is going straight in the bin. Yeah, it's I'm not worthy not of eating. It's not worthy for my dogs. Horrible. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. Just another little cheap budget meal for you, just to show you that you don't have to have that. Just because it I looks don't. good on the can and it sounds good, that's the reality of it. I've tried to lay that out as, as pretty as possible, Sharon. Do your £1.63 breakfast. Cook it yourself, folks. You must get it cheaper because you might have already have stuff in. I hope you're enjoying our shorts as well, what we're putting out. We've, we're trying to find little clips out of our videos which are highly amusing, maybe, uh, that you might find entertaining. Only about 15 seconds to a minute long. We're throwing them in as we find them. Chucking them in. And you do eat a lovely cream cake, baby. Oh, I love cream cake. Of course you do. Mm. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, have a binge watch of our videos. Get yourself an apron. Oh, a burp at the same time. I'm sorry about that, baby. And uh, hope you have a nice day. Thanks very much. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye. Bye for now. Yeah, you can have that. Come on, take, you take that. You have that. Scraping that straight in the bin. And I'll have that.